<sighs> Damn it. We need to talk about how to keep things charged in the field. Just making a quick video talking about how I keep equipment charged up when out in the field doing wildlife photography. While I absolutely love the Nikon Z7, it really does chew through batteries at a rate that my previous DSLR cameras never did, especially I suppose because I'm doing video as well. well the obvious thing to do would be to have plenty of batteries and indeed I've got six of them and uh, that actually on a day trip or even a couple of days, that's the problem sorted. The thing is, there are other things that need to be charged too. For example, right now I'm talking to you on the Osmo Pocket and that can't generally go a day of, um, sort of wildlife photography and vlogging without needing to be charged at least once. Also the microphone that I'm using, which is a Rode Wireless Go, has two little modules that also need to be USB charged. And of course there's also a phone that needs to be charged and also my big microphone actually has a USB chargeable battery in it now just because I'm always going to have a solution with me for charging via USB. So what is that solution? Well, just on a normal day out, it's one of these. So it's a power brick. Fully charged, this has the capacity to charge the camera batteries 14 times. I like this one because it's actually got three outputs so you can charge three things at once. Now that really ought to do for even an extended trip and I've been away for three days now and I've been using that pretty much continuously and it's just about starting to run down. But what if you're out for longer? or you were using even more power hungry devices. Let's say I was shooting lots and lots of video. I would burn through that in a couple of days and that's not really enough. I'm here in the Northwest Highlands for a week. So I need an even better solution. And that solution is up there. Even here in Scotland, using a solar panel is actually worthwhile for charging. Um, I had this on my tent earlier today for a few hours and I passed enough charge through it to charge two um, Nikon EN EL15 batteries. It's got a maximum output of 5 volts and 4.8 amps and each output can give 5 volts at 2.4 amps. That means that of the three USB outputs that live down here there's little point in using any more than two of them because it will max out at two of them being 5 volts and 2.4 amps, which should be plenty to charge any of the devices I've been talking about. So in practice, on a trip like this where I'm away for several days, I actually use both... Um, never mind this. I might be talking about power, but there's a road here down there. Okay, yeah, technical video interrupted by wildlife. Um, okay, well, it's far too sunny to really take photos, but I got a snippet of video there. <laughs> Excellent, I don't remember where I was talking about now. Um, yeah, so in practice, I actually use both the power pack and the solar panel together. 
So the way that works is that while I'm in camp and it's sunny, I will use the solar panel to charge the power pack. When I go off wandering about looking for wildlife, trying to photograph things, I'll take the power pack with me to charge things while I'm on the go and I'll leave the solar panel charging batteries or any devices that I'm not actually using at that point. And then obviously during the night I can use the power pack to recharge anything that's sort of still depleted after the day. So I find that that actually works really well and uh, keeps everything sort of charged up nicely. I try to make sure that everything I take with me can be charged by USB and then I can just use this charging solution for everything. And of course, I've got a bag containing all the different kinds of cables I might need. And I've color coded them with bits of tape so that I can actually quickly tell what kind of connector each one is at a glance, because otherwise it would be an awful mess. Along with the power pack and the solar panel, I also got this um, USB power monitor. It's actually really useful because it tells you how much charge you've passed over a certain length of time, as well as obviously giving you the voltage and amperage at a given moment. So right now, you can see that the solar panel is charging the power brick with just under 5.2 volts and just over an amp. Incidentally, something that I've discovered while playing with the power meter is that it's actually completely worthless to charge the battery in the camera, which is a kind of gimmick with uh, the Nikon Z7 and Z6, the idea that you can charge in camera. It is way, way slower charging through a USB-C cable in the camera compared to taking that same USB-C cable, plugging it into a dedicated battery charger for the battery and sticking the battery in there. Um, if Nikon allowed you to continue using the camera while it was plugged in by USB-C, that would be an entirely different matter, but they don't. So basically it's useless. So I realized when I got home that somehow I'd failed to record the last piece to camera for this video. So I'm recording it again from Clashgower Hut where I'm having a cup of tea, having just been out photographing stags. So the combination of the power pack and the solar panel on extended trips works really, really well for me and I can keep everything powered up nicely. Keeping the power pack um, in my pocket or in the rucksack while I'm out and about means that I can charge things on the go and then, and then when I'm at camp I can also top it up from the solar panel or I can leave batteries and things that I'm not using charging from the solar panel while I'm away from camp. So I'll leave links to all the different bits of equipment I've talked about in the video description and uh, yeah hopefully this has been of some use to somebody. Um, it's quite good fun sitting on the top of that little hill and making the video. Shame I lost that bit of footage or I think I just pressed record twice which we all know records one second of nothingness. And yeah I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it was useful. Um, if you liked it please like it and uh, leave a comment. If you like what I'm doing with my YouTube channel, please subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next one somewhere doing some wildlife photography. So uh, thanks very much for watching and goodbye.